Welcome back to my channel where on Sundays we do absorbency testing results which is just fun kitchen science that has absolutely no solid backing. You can learn more about my absorbency testing strategy which gives us a full saturation number. Today we are looking at the Sweet Pea Fitted Cloth Diaper. And this is a cloth diaper that I bought with the encouragement of my local retailer to just try because it is cheaper. And I thought one day I would do a review on it, but the thing is it's really hard to do reviews on products you don't like. I didn't really like this diaper because it shrunk a lot and it doesn't really fit my child very well. Also, after doing the absorbency testing on this and the cost... So this is the Sweet Pea Bamboo Cotton Fitted Diaper. It is 8 to 35 pounds and Sweet Pea is an American based company that is produces their diapers overseas and that's all I know. I was over on the Sweet Pea website but there's not a lot to know who these people are, what that story is, and to me story is important about a brand. I buy because of story, but that's just me as a millennial consumer in 2019. I bought this, I didn't really like it, but let's talk about it. And it has one sewn in tongue and it has one snap in tongue. This has a layer of microfiber in it. 70% bamboo, rayon from bamboo and 30% cotton. It's not organic cotton. And considering I haven't used it much, it's stained really badly and I do have some first layer holes around the elastic as well as along the tongue of the diaper. Yeah. So I did a full saturation number on the core of the diaper, this whole system, and then on the booster. So we have two sets of numbers here. I always do a triple test so that I can get the better picture of the absorbency. Absorbency and testing really does not the same every time. And so it's good to have a lot of numbers so we can have a better understanding of how the product may or may not perform. And I like seeing consistent numbers. So the diaper itself, it held 12 ounces, 12 and a half, and 12.4, which means it's an average of 12.3 ounces. The booster held an average of 3.9 ounces, holding 4.1, 4, and 3.6. That means the entire diaper itself is about 16.2 ounces. The diaper costs $24.95 in the United States and $26.95 in Canada. So that means you're paying $1.66 Canadian or $1.54 an ounce US. You are paying for all of these snaps, this intricate design, uh, and I think that's just stupid expensive. But I haven't done any absorbency numbers on other fitted diapers, so I don't really have anything to compare. 16.2 ounces is good for a moderate overnight heavy wetter, moderate overnight wetter. I would say most average, like they say, I would say 10 to 15 ounces is like a lighter overnight wetter, 15 to 20 is like heavy wetter. Anything, if you need more than 20 ounces, you're now looking at like a super soaker. Well, not super soaker, like a heavy, heavy wetter. And then if you need over 30, you've got a super soaker. Overnight cloth diapering numbers really vary. When someone says they need an overnight cloth diaper, I'm like, where are we, what are we doing? So 16.2 ounces is fairly reasonable, need fully saturated number. This could work for you. It does seem a little expensive for what you're getting. You've got one layer of microfiber. It does have a velour co coating, but I do feel, this is not a review guys, I'll skip the review part. Um, and it is a cotton layer. Take those numbers for what they are. That's my thoughts for today. Thanks for joining me. Bye. All right, so the one thing that we're adding to these videos that I'm releasing now is a real life example of how it might perform. So I'm just snapping together the sweet pea all in one and we're, we'll put this one on top because this is the stay dry. So this diaper can hold about 16 ounces of liquid. I have 16 ounces of liquid and we're just gonna pour it on like the child might pee and see how it reacts. Yeah. I see I'm getting like some spillage. In a diaper, it would less likely to spill. <laughs> this is the hardest part about this real life example. 
because you would have this like pressed up against the legs it would be less likely to really have that kind of spillage in general we're seeing that this is probably a little bit of a slower absorber especially with that forceful weight like it really needs the confines of the diaper to absorb I've gotten a lot of questions lately about compression and I don't know mixed all right my battery's about to die so we're gonna finish this up here that's about how it looks it's supposed to hold 16 ounces but it's not gonna take it all completely and that's the story of a fitted diaper